ലീനിയർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് എ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് റിസർച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഡിസിഷൻ മേക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് റിസർച്ച് പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് മീൻസ് പ്ലാൻ സോ ലീനിയർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ഇസ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ദറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ദറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻഡ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ദറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു അവൈലബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു റെസ്ട്രിക്റ്റഡ് അവൈലബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് അൺറെസ്ട്രിക്റ്റഡ് റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ സോൾവിംഗ് എ ലീനിയർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് പ്രോബ്ലം ടു മെത്തേഡ്സ് ആർ അവൈലബിൾ വൺ ഈസ് ഗ്രാഫിക്കൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ and the other is simplex method graphical solution is comparatively simple but it has a limitation a linear programming problem with only with only two decision variables may be solved graphically in this class we are discussing graphical method of solving a linear programming problem that is the method of suggesting values for decision variables which optimizes objective function with respect to constraints using graphical method graphical solution to linear programming problem graphical solution a l p p in two variables may be solved by graphical method here is a problem maximize is it equal to 22x plus 18y subject to constraints 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 48 and x plus y less than or equal to 20 and xy greater than or equal to 0 that is we are familiar with the linear programming problem and its components what are they first one is the decision variables x and y are two decision variables our objective is to find values for x and y such that this is a this maximum at that junction there is no problem put x equal to infinity y equal to infinity we get infinite profit or infinite value of maximum maximum is at infinity but it is not feasible why we have some availability requirement conditions that's a linear programming problem a problem of constrained optimization subject to availability and requirement conditions this is the availability they are restricted finite fixed 48 and 20 we cannot make use of more than 48 more than 20 less than or equal to 48 less than or equal to 20 and this constitute our constraints availability requirement conditions and one more that's a mathematical aspect x and y should be non negative so the problem is to find values of x and y subject to these constraints such that objective function is optimum that is our feasible solution optimum feasible solution a simple illustration when x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 what will happen x plus y is 0 zero. zero is less than 20 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 48 0 so less than 48 so this is a feasible solution just for an illustration when x equal to 10 y is equal to 10 3x plus 20 2y 30 plus 20 50 50 is more than 48 it is not feasible here 10 plus 10 equal to 20 that is feasible but the solution is not feasible when x equal to 15 y is equal to 15 this will provide 75 it is more than 48 this will give 30 more than 20 both the solutions are not feasible So what is feasible solution a feasible solution is a solution which satisfies the constraints simultaneously that is the first stage in any linear programming problem our interest is to suggest a feasible solution at the first stage at first we are for going for a feasible solution so what is the steps in graphical solution the constraints are represented by straight lines that is a linear the relationship is linear so each constraint is represented by a straight line then we determine feasible solution so the first step is 
the inequality is changed into equality. 3x plus 2y is less than or equal to 48. We take it as f is equal to 48. That is the first step. Treat the constraints as equalities. Then, what is linear relationship? A straight line relationship. How will you locate a straight line? For finding a straight line, determining a straight line, we require minimum two points. Two points for determining a straight line. We use two points. Two points. That is, that is a linear programming. By graphical method, determine a straight line. That is, determine two points. The simplest version is put x equal to 0. That is 2y is equal to 48, y is equal to 24. Then we get a point. This is known as a bivariate point. Two variates x and y. x equal to 0, y is equal to 24. Is a point. That is a point in a two-dimensional space. That is a point. Similarly, to locate another point, we put y is equal to 0. Then we get 16, 0. Then we get a pair of coordinates. 16, 0 and 0, 24. That determines a straight line. 3x plus 2y is equal to 48. That is the step. Determine the constraints by straight by means of straight lines. This constitute two points that determines the equation. 3x plus 2y is equal to 48. Similarly, x plus y is equal to 20. Put x equal to 0. We get y is s20. Put y equal to 0. We get x is 20. That a pair of coordinates. That's a mathematical term. Coordinates. These two points determine the line x plus y is equal to 20. Then using these two coordinates, these two pairs of coordinates, we determine feasible region for the feasible solution. So this is our problem. Maximize z equal to 22x plus 18y subject to two constraints. Two constraints. And in graphical solution, each constraint is represented by a straight line. That is the procedure. So we are we have two straight lines to be constructed. How? We treat it as equality. 3x plus 2y equal to 48. And we determine two points. When x equal to 0, y is 24. When x equal to, when y is 0, x equal to 16. These two points determines the straight line. 3x plus 2y is equal to 48. This is the simplest method of determining a straight line. And another constraint, x plus y is equal to 20, represent this line, this equation by a straight line. x equal to 0, y is 20. When y is equal to 0, x equal to 20. So these two facts determines two straight lines. 3x plus 2y is equal to 48 x plus y is equal to 20. That is the first step in graphical solution. Treat the inequalities as equalities. Determine two points by assigning one variable as 0. And using that to coordinates, that's mathematical, the coordinates, we determine the straight lines. Then we go for the feasible solution. For, for understanding conveniently, Comparatively, a lengthy discussion is illustrated here. First one, the straight line 3x plus 2y equal to 48 is presented here. How? This is the x-axis. x equal to 16. This point, x equal to 16. And this is the coordinate. 16, 0, y is 0. And the other coordinate, 0, 24, 0, 24. By joining this line, we get the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 48, which implies any point on this line satisfies the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 48, that we have infinite combinations on this line. But our constraint is less, less than or equal to, less than or equal to. So that determines the feasible region. When x equal to 0, y is equal to 0, 0 is less than 48, that is since the constraint is less than, less than, all the region, all the region belonging below the straight line, the region below the straight line, all the points in this region satisf satisfies the equation 3x plus 2y 
equal to 48. So this region is called the region which is feasible to the line 3x plus 2y less than equal less than 48. So this is the feasible region to the constraint to the constraint 3x plus 2y less than 48. But this is not the feasible region of the problem. We have one more constraint that is exhibited here. One more constraint that is x plus y is equal to d. The same graph x plus y is equal to d. Here this is the coordinate 0 when x equal to 0 y is 20. When x equal to 20 y is 0. Joining these two coordinates we get the straight line x plus y is equal to 20. The, 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 there are infinite points on this straight line. All the points that with the condition x plus y is equal to 20. Then our concern is less than. Therefore, any region less than, less than below the straight line is the feasible region of the equation x plus y is equal to 20. What is, the, what is its meaning? Any point in this region satisfies the equation x plus y less than or equal to 20. So this is the feasible region for the constraint. 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 48. This is the region x plus y less than or equal to 20. But we require the combined, combined. Therefore, we construct these two constraints, these two equations in a single graph. This is only for understanding the topic. This is not required. We are going to exhibit, we are going to construct a graph. We are using these two constraints on a graph. Here, in a single, on a single plane. Now, this is the graph of the problem. We exhibit the graphs individually. That is not required. That is only for understanding. Now, this is the graphical method of the linear programming problem. Graph of the linear programming problem. And our objective is to find the feasible area or feasible region that is the area on the graph satisfying all the constraints simultaneously it is called feasible solution or area to the feasible solution or feasible region then we are going to determine the feasible region this area this area is not feasible since it is above the straight line x plus y equal to 20. We need x plus y less than 20. This area is not feasible by it is above the line 3x plus 2y equal to 48. Then we consider the area which is common, which is common to all the constraints. That is the, that is a stage in our problem. The feasible region, marking the feasible region. This is the feasible region that is the common area satisfied by all the constraints simultaneously in this problem we have only two constraints this is the feasible region that is the second step of the graphical solution first we construct straight lines for representing linear constraints and now we locate the feasible region the equations are less than or equal to this below. So this is the feasible region. Then by math, feasible region in mathematics, it is termed as a convex set. Convex set. That is a property of a feasible region. What is feasible region? The region which satisfies all the constraints simultaneously. This is not feasible. This is not feasible. So this is the feasible region. This is the feasible region that is the technical name feasible region the region satisfies both the constraints simultaneously then the next step is to locate the vertices that's a mathematical term vertices the points of intersection of the straight lines on this region on the convex set we are going to determine we are going to determine the vertices of the feasible region. The vertices, that is again a mathematical term, vertex, vertex. 
that is one point is here it is identified as origin o o that's a visible region location this is a and the point and this is a point of intersection of the two constraints denoted by d c so what is the step locate the feasible region identify the vertex the points of intersection two light intersect that the these points are o a b c this is the feasible region o a b c is the feasible region this is the boundary of the feasible region which is a convex set then if we identify the coordinates the math mathematical term the values of x and y at each coordinate at o at a at b at c what is the value of x and y at each coordinate so the step consisting of identifying the feasible region and finding the where values of vertices of this feasible regions that is o a b c is the feasible region it is marked as o a b c then we are going for the values solution at each coordinate each vertex this is the coordinate o a b c and this is the values x and y that is observed from the graph o the origin 0 0 a here y is 20 x is 0 this is directly observed from a graph or we find it by solving simultaneously that is not necessary by observing b from this point we get x equal to 8 and y is equal to 12 and c here x equal to 16 y is equal to 0 that is the another step locate the feasible region find the values at the vertices then This is the objective function. Is it is equal to 22x plus 18y. At each point, we find values. At O, is it is equal to zero? 22 into zero plus 18 into zero. At A, is it is 360? At B, is it is 392? At C, is is it is 352 by substituting x and y in this equation? What are what is our problem? Maximize. So among the exact values. Is that this maximum at 392? This is the maximum value 392. At which coordinate? At the coordinate B, B. That is x equal to 8 and y is equal to 12. Therefore, the solution to the problem is x equal to 8 and y is equal to 12. And maximum value of this is 392. only one type of graphical solution is discussed here that is maximization problem and we have to discuss minimization problem and i hope that the idea of graphical solution is conveyed in a detailed manner then again we meet with respect to a graphical solution of minimization problem okay please go for the link videos given in the description box thank you thank you